die. Die. Place come. There you go, brothers. Get him, Pace. So I had a rodent in my bedroom last night. So I called my dog Payson to catch it. And do you think he'd catch it? He was hopeless. He went everywhere, round and round. And uh, this morning there was no dead mouse or dead rat in the room. But that's the reason I had him in my room last night. He does stay in a box in one place. Hey, do It's a uh, beautiful morning here. And I'm a bit fished out. My son and I went out yesterday and we smashed it. We got fish for everybody. We didn't have any fish. I better give these guys a feed. Get my new boat out. Hey ducks. Hey super ducks. Here you go. Come to you. Come to you guys. We'll be doing a kill soon. Because uh, these guys are just getting fed. And we eat gives them to you. Go. And it's expensive to feed them. And we need to start to... Uh, Smacking some heads off. So I'm really blessed because I've got a awesome son that uh, really stood up and helped this old man out. We caught so many fish, and you got early this morning to do the processing. It's the last one. Last one there. Oh, last one. Well done, son. I Good did. job. Nice fillets. I've done a few lazy fillets for smoking. <laughs> lazy fillets. Well, this is a lazy fillet, but they're good. So, what we do is we've got our uh, scales still on and the bones still on, but that's what you want because in the smoker they sit on the scales. We did yesterday, we had a whole lot of people come around and we had snapper and we had kahawai, and everybody just wanted the kahawai. Nobody, looks, I don't know why New Zealand everyone goes on about snapper. Kahawai tastes so much sweeter, so much nicer. And we don't waste anything. We use everything like it's... I mean, I, I even eat the, the eyes, the, the whole lot of the fish, because I just love it. But kawa tastes better. It really did. Did you notice that with the smoker, or did you prefer the snapper? It's definitely better in the smoker. It is in the smoker, isn't it? I think if I had it pan-fried, I'd rather eat snapper. Yep, pan-fried. Okay, with that. what about sashimi? Definitely kawa. Yeah, definitely kawa, yeah. Feel good. A really underrated um, fish, which is crazy. And for a long time in New Zealand here... We were using it as bait and being sent to China for catching crabs, which is just sacrilege. I don't understand that. It's a, it's a, it's a really like the Empress got no clothes syndrome. One person says it and everybody believes it. That's what today's talk is about. It's about just that. It's about how we believe without really going into deep questioning. Now, I grew up being told that Kawa was a ship fish. Oh, it's all right in the smoker, but it's a ship fish. Pace, get in. Pace, come. Pace. Pace, come. Oh, he's having a shit okay. Good boy. And, and I believe it, because my dad taught it, and his father taught him that, and and my father was at sea his whole life, so of course I had to believe him, because his whole life he's been at sea, and he's a great fisherman, and a great hunter, and a great uh, marine engineer, and a skipper, and... He was on a boat in Fiordland called the Renown for many years, and he was in the scours here, and his whole life is at sea, and so was his father. So I grew up solely believing what I was taught without question. Wouldn't question anything. And today my father would still say the same thing. Only thing is, uh, I end up having a Japanese girlfriend who came from a fish culture, and she knew nothing about anything of what we talk about fish in New Zealand. So I would go out, I'd catch fish, I'd put it in front of her and say, what do you think? And one day I put kahawai just because I had nothing else. I thought, oh, she's not going to like this because kahawai is a shit fish and it's only good for smoking. And she goes, oh, that's really nice. I looked at what I had and I thought, hold on a minute. That can't be right. I said, hold on, do you like the, the kahawai? She goes, yes. And I said, well, no, this can't be right. I mean, I had bled it and I'd killed it properly. So I tried it again, and she kept on saying, that's the best fish. I said, but surely the snapper's better, or surely the Cherokee's better, or surely the gurnard's better. No, no, this is way better. Okay, so I tried it with her family, with her children. They all loved it. Her daughter, Sola, loves it. She misses it while she's over in America. That's interesting, isn't it? So then I tried it as sashimi, and 
Actually, it tastes really good. I never had a sashimi, so I tried other things. And before long, I started to realise, this is a few years ago, now we're talking 14 years ago, this actually is a fantastic fish. And I've told myself it's not because that's what I was programmed to believe. Well, same thing happens with you with everything in your life. Kahwai is a fantastic fish. Underrated. It's a great game fish to catch. And it's this are plentiful. And it's sustainable because it grows. I'm just going to walk into this apple tree here. And whether you like it or not is your own personal preference because let's face it we all got different things we like but on the whole last night when I had a group of people around and we all sat it it was a car while we went first and the snapper still left over no one ate it well it's it's back in the fridge for fish pie today post gum same applies to everything we see on the news everything people talk about and that's why it's really really healthy for us to question everything for us to question every single thing we hear on media, every single thing that our fathers teach us, our mothers teach us, our colleagues say, to think for ourselves. Because just like the kahua, we may be missing out on something that's really good in this life because they've told us otherwise. Now I just looked at a, uh, some stats this morning on uh, what's going on with uh, COVID in New Zealand. And oh, it's a mathematician that posted it. And what's going on with... Um, vaccinated versus unvaccinated and it's just stats and I was going well this can't be right this this can't be right and, I, and I'm really still questioning everything I'm reading but it just doesn't add up at all to what the narrative is what everyone's talking about and I'm I'm not a I'm not a uh, conspiracy theorist I just like to look at numbers and again I'm like questioning it so the other point too is and i'm not saying those numbers were correct because anything could be played with but they were, was it was of a government department and i'm going well what actually is the truth and my father told me once son believe nothing of what you hear and half of what you see and that might just serve me well going back to what we're educated and taught by our schools by our educators by everybody take everything with a grain of salt and Go with your gut feeling, but also don't be a sheep, because the old sheep or whatever it is, and I'm not talking about the current situation, I'm talking about everything in general life, decide upon yourself what feels right. Stand up to what you think is right, regardless of what the status quo is. Heal up! Heal up! Pace come! They're eating apples off the tree. Heal up! Bagsy come! Poe come! Good dogs! And it's really hard to do that when you've been programmed your whole life by the people that you trust and you've been, from the very beginning of your life, you've been taught one thing to, to do and act upon what you feel rather than what you're taught. It's just about impossible. It's just so hard to fight. Now, from my experience in life, I have done that and sometimes it's served me really well and other times I've come unstuck. Just because a majority says something doesn't make them right. And if you look in history, you look at a lot of people that were minority, a lot of them often were right, and it turned out in the end that uh, the majority was wrong. You see it with quite some quite famous people. But going on your gut feeling, generally, it's pretty, it's pretty accurate. It works pretty good. We have in our stomachs, we have enough uh, neurological... Uh, matter here that is the equivalent to a cat's brain and that's that's incredible isn't it so you get this gut feeling things that you can feel they are there for a purpose but it's been shunned a lot because of technology and where we're going today with the world and everything this is the fact it's been proven here's the stats and so we dismiss our gut feeling on stuff i'm a great believer in using your gut feeling with people uh, in business with forming relationships with trust if something doesn't quite feel right, it just may not be right. So listen, sit down, Big Z. Where you go. I don't want to jump up on me right now and try and talk and pull threads out of my nice jersey that my girlfriend knitted me. Right, that's enough today. Going to keep walking the dogs. Big Z, where you go? Where you go? Come on, bugger off. Where you go? I can see a fight starting. I've had pace inside and he's coming back in. Where you go? You're looking fat too, dog. You've had too much to eat. Sit down, Big Z. Big Z, sit down. 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 He ripped my jersey. Sit down. Where you go? 
As soon as I start talking, he's like, aha. That's enough. Got to really keep an eye on my dogs when I'm walking around, particularly two males. Good boy, Pace. Pace is right behind me here. Good dog. Heckles up on his neck. As soon as I take my attention off my dog, that's what happens. Anyway, I'm walking around bare feet, trying to dodge all the sheep poo. Not that I really worry about it, but sheep poo. And uh, trying to finish this bloody video off without getting my jersey. Because he jumps up and he pulls these threads out. <laughs> these third world problems. Where's Poe gone? Yeah, Poe, buck up. Probably eating sheep shit somewhere. Yeah, oh, here she goes. Come on, Poe. She's been like cleaning up the sheep poos. Righto, guys and girls. Uh, today's talk was just about that uh, using your own um, mind to decide and uh, not following the status quo or what we necessarily told all the time. Deciding upon yourself. And you might discover that uh, kawai is actually a really good fish to eat or something else. The same thing that you've been taught otherwise. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in this one and uh, carry on with my day. Today I'm getting acupuncture uh, from a woman. Well, no, I'm getting having a visit. She's going to spend an hour with me and talk about uh, um, my chi energy. And while I might be having these uh, problems with my heart right now. And then I've got the uh, angiogram, the cardiologist on the 11th. Jeez, it's just so slow, the hospital situation here in New, Ze New Zealand. Everything's just ridiculously slow. There's people on waiting lists growing sicker while they get attention. That's the video for another day, though. Uh, much love to you all. Go steady and check on yourselves. Check on a brother. And check if what you've really been told is always the truth and what it feels like inside yourself. But also, back it with a wee bit of science and do your research. Okay, I'll, I'll say... Uh, Bye for now and see you in the next video. See you later guys. Good dog Pace, you're a good boy. Come on mate.